Good afternoon. This is Charmaine Cleveland with TBC's First News. We have a lot in store for you today, including when you could be soon seeing some rain. But first, we're going to head to Trevor Horn in the sports department, who has the latest on an incident that happened at Stockdale High School. Good afternoon, Trevor. Hi, Charmaine. How are you? Yeah, so last night we had a couple sources that informed us that Stockdale head football coach Brett Shelton was suspended after uh, reasons still unknown. We had a confirmation from Stan Green, the athletic director for the Kern High School District this morning that says, quote, Coach Shelton has been suspended from coaching, but the rest is a personnel matter. He said that he, the, the school district nor the school can actually comment anything further on exactly what happened or how long the suspension is. So we're kind of up in the air on anything else. But as right now, Stockdale head coach Brett Shelton is suspended going into Friday night's game at number four Liberty. So Stockdale, a team that's one in five and 0 and one in the Southwest Yosemite League this season against some very good competition has to go into their game Friday night without their head coach. Uh, we don't have any other information other than that, but we will, once we have more information, we'll obviously have it in the Bakersfield, California and always updating on our website at Bakersfield.com. Yes, very interesting. And Trevor, I know we can't confirm anything yet regarding why he actually was suspended, but does this coach have a history of suspensions or uh, disorderly conduct at all? Not at all. Actually, Brett Shelton is one of the more highly regarded coaches. He's coaching at his alma mater now. Uh, he's in his second season at Stockdale where he was a 2004 graduate. He played football at Sacramento State. Very highly regarded as a coach and as a person. Um, I've never seen an instance whatsoever with Shelton ever being in trouble or having an issue with parents, players, other coaches, anything of that nature. So this kind of comes as um, kind of a shock to me and I think everybody else in the sports, sports world here in Kern County. Yes, definitely. And do we know so far how the Stockdale football team will be affected by this or who might be taking over for their next couple games? No, because it's one of those instances that since it is um, – is being handled through the Human Resources Office at the district level. Nobody is really going to talk about this or can talk about this on or off the record. So it's one of those instances where we really don't know what's going to go on and we really can't get a handle on anything until a coach or a player actually speaks up about it. Very good. Thank you for that, Trevor. And you can get more up-to-date sports information on B Varsity Nightly Tuesdays through Thursdays at 10 p.m. or B Varsity Live, all on Bakersfield.com. And I understand, Trevor, this week you're going to have some interesting guests on. Yeah, tomorrow on B Varsity Live, which airs every Thursday right here at Bakersfield.com from 2 to 3 p.m., we have Liberty football coach Brian Nixon along with players Jordan Love, their quarterback who's a senior and he's verbally committed to Utah State. And then junior defensive lineman Curtis Brown is going to be on the show. He's got interest from Pac-12 schools, so two very talented players on a very talented team. Liberty, which was 1-3 in their non-league schedule, opened up the Southwest Yosemite League play on Friday with a 49-17 win over Frontier. Liberty, kind of a team that everybody was kind of questioning, is there is the talent, uh, you know, is the play on the field living up to the talent on the team? And I think what we saw last Friday was kind of evident of that. And we want to talk to Nixon and his players about just kind of, you know, how they went through the uh, non-league schedule, a few little hiccups here and there, and how they feel about themselves going in. And that will be tomorrow, Thursday, at 2 p.m. live, right here at Bakersfield.com on BVRC Live with myself. And Zach Ewing will be back. So we'll, we'll welcome Zach back after uh, he and his wife Ellen had the baby boy two weeks ago. So that will be fun to have Zach back on the show. Awesome. Well, it sounds like a very exciting sports season ahead. Let's go on and take a quick look at your weather if you are headed out the door this weekend. Uh, definitely cooling off. Today's high is going to be 90. Tomorrow, 86. Friday, 87. 50% chance of rain those next two days, uh, 85 and 81 over your weekend with your overnight lows in the mid-60s. Those are your top stories. Make sure to keep a lookout on our Facebook page for more live news updates as the day progresses.